everybody be like, oh, I'm going to cut you off at the end of 2020. Oh, who who want to get cut off at the end of 2020? You should have been cut them off months ago. Hey bosses, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to boss your life up in 2021, how to have a successful life in 2021, how to start 2021 out on the right foot, okay? I'm gonna just give you guys a few tips, a few things that I know I'm doing to go into 2021 the right way and things that I've learned along the way. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips that will help you out. So if you want to know how to go into 2020 the right way, boss your life up, go on to 2021 successful, make this really your year, then just keep on watching. Before we do get into it, stop right there. I wanna acknowledge the fact that I am at, currently right now, I am at 900 subscribers. Um, I want to just say thank you to all of y'all, everybody who has supported me, everybody who has been watching my videos, everybody who's been watching my videos all the way through. We are almost to 1K. When I do get to 1K though, y'all, I am doing something big, like a giveaway. I don't know, make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. Make sure that you're subscribed to this channel so y'all can know um, if I am doing a giveaway. I know I'm gonna do something big. It's most likely gonna be a cash giveaway. Pretty sure it's gonna be a cash giveaway. But make sure that you guys are following me on all socials so y'all can stay in the loop and know what's up with the giveaways, okay? But without further ado, we're gonna talk about how to boss your life up in 2021 so you can be that girl or you can be that boy in 2021 and make this the year that's really your year, okay? Because every year we always say, oh, this year I'm gonna be rich. This year I'm gonna do this. This year I'm gonna do that. No, 2021, this is the year that you really gonna do what you said you gonna do, okay? Number one, you want to go into 2021 with a clear head. So anything that happened in 2020, let it go. Let go of any hurt. Let go of any heartbreak. Let go of any sadness. Let it go. Before you go into 2021, you need to let go of any 2020 baggage. Let go. Go into 2021 with a clear head. Do not go into 2021 still mad about this, still mad about that because it's going to carry over. We do not want stuff carrying over into a new year. Okay? Clear your head. Number two, you want to cut off anybody that does not serve you any purpose. So one thing that I have learned is that if, I, if I'm around somebody and they're not helping me grow, they're not trying to put me on no money moves, they're not helping me with my business, they're not, I can't call on them to talk positively with me or if they're not doing nothing for their life, they sit around, they, they might be smoking all day, they might be clubbing all day, chasing after chasing after dudes, chasing after females, not have no ambition in life, never have no money, don't got nothing, and don't plan on having nothing, those are not the people you need in your life. When you go into 2021, you need to go into 2021 with people who are trustworthy, first of all, people who are trustworthy, people who have stuff going on in their life, because let me tell you guys something. If you hang around people, their energy, the things that they have going on are eventually gonna rub off on you. If somebody's lazy, not doing nothing, wanna party all day, it's gonna rub off on you because they gonna want you to do what they doing because they're not doing nothing. They're not doing nothing all day. So if they party all day, they want to party all they want you to party with them all day. You can't hang out with people who party all day. Partying is cool every now and then, but like when it's time for Monday, the weekday, it's time to get to work. What you doing? You're not doing nothing. You can't hang around those people. Hang around people who have ambition, who have goals, that's doing something. Hang around people who got money. Who got money, who ain't always asking you, can I borrow $20? Can I borrow $30? Can I borrow $40 just to hold me to no? No, in 2021, no, no. That's another thing. That goes into the next thing. Learn how to say no, y'all. It's okay to say no. Protect your peace. Protect your peace. Protect your peace. Learn to say no. Learn to say no, y'all. Learn to say no. If it's something that is not good for you or something that you feel like 
it's just not gonna protect your peace you can say no it is okay to say no and self first always put yourself first one thing that i noticed that i did not do is that sometimes i would not put myself first sometimes i would put others needs before my own you cannot do that at the end of the day you have to protect your mental peace and your mental state of mind you have to put yourself first because nobody's gonna look after you the way that you look after you so you need to look after yourself and put yourself first and, and think about is this gonna make me happy is this gonna benefit me or is this gonna benefit them but don't have nothing to do with me or is, is this all gonna be work for me and not be nothing for them you know what i'm saying put yourself first okay put yourself first always put yourself first period next thing is to be focused on your goals so what you need to do is get a notebook so this is my notebook here um i don't really have my goals written in this one no that's not the one i have my goals written in but you want to get you a notebook right in the notebook you want to write down all the things that you want to accomplish in 2021 just write it down you want to manifest it because first of all when it first of all the thing about manifestation is not a manifestation video because i know y'all tired of hearing about manifestation manifestation but real but for real for real y'all to manifest the life that you want the first thing you need to do is you need to write it down and you need to speak it into the universe so after you write it down say it out loud say it out loud a couple of times so it can be put into the universe you know what I'm saying? Write down your goals. And then once you write down your goals, you need to figure out how can you achieve these goals. For example, let's just say that next year you, let's just say you have a business and next year you want your business to make six figures. Okay, six figures is what? About $10,000 a month. How are you going to get to that goal? Break the goal down. Okay, I want to make $10,000. So $10,000, I have to make this amount of I have to make this amount every week. I have to make this amount every day. How can you make that amount every day? I need to sell this much every day, this product every day. I need to service these many people every day to get to my goal. How are you gonna get to that goal? Oh, I need to promote more. I need to put myself out more. I need to market this better. I need to make more videos doing this. Break down your goals. Don't just write your goals, y'all. Of course you wanna write your goals. You wanna say them out loud, but then you don't want to just write your goals down. You need to break that goal down break it down break it break it break, it. break that goal. break that goal down break it down so you know how to achieve it because the thing about it is when we write down our goals we may write down we want to make ten thousand dollars we may write down we want to make six thousand dollars this this isn't this but how are we gonna do that how are you gonna do that you can't just write down the goal and don't have no plan to achieve that goal you cannot do that you cannot do that okay so I need you to take your take a notebook and break that goal down. Okay. Another thing, I don't remember what number I was on. Sorry, y'all. I done lost count because I was rambling again. <laughs> but the next thing that you want to do is you want to break that toxic person. If you are in a toxic relationship. A toxic relationship does not always have to be abusive or to have to always be like, oh, he's cheating. I'm cheating. Because I was in a toxic relationship. My last relationship was toxic and we didn't cheat on each other. So toxic does not always mean cheating. Okay. So with a toxic relationship, if it's not a healthy relationship, you need to be out of that relationship before 2021 starts. Stop trying to make that relationship work. Baby, it's not going to work. It's not gonna work. He or she is not going to get any better. He or she is not gonna change because if they wanted to, they would. Understand that, y'all. If somebody wanted to, they would. If they wanted to, they would. If they wanted to, they would. I'm heavy on that. If somebody wanted to change, they would change for you. If somebody wanted to be better, they would be better for you. I'm telling you, people are not stupid, okay? Especially men. I'm talking to my ladies. A man knows how to treat a woman. If he really, really wanted you in his life, he would do what he got to do to treat you right. He would do what he got to do to make sure he wouldn't lose you. Period. If he ain't doing, if he ain't doing what he's supposed to do, he don't care about losing you. And why do you want a man that don't care about losing you? Leave him in 2020. There is a billion or something people on this earth, baby. You will find somebody else. Same with guys. If a girl is cheating and not cheating, but if she's being toxic, same situation, let it go. 
If she wanted to, she would. If she wanted to, she would. Let it go. Do not bring a toxic person into 2021 with you. Because I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm going to be real. I'm going to have a transparent moment. I was in a relationship from August of 2019 to May of 2020. Me and my ex were toxic. Fighting all the time. We lived together. So we was fighting all the time. All types of stuff. I went into 2020 with him. I did not let my toxic relationship go going into 2020. From 2019 to 2020, I did not let my toxic relationship go. I went into 2020 with a toxic person. And my first half of my 2020 was not the best for me. You know, it was not the best. It was not the best. I went through depression. I went through a lot the first half of this year. Because I went into 2021 with a, I mean, I went into 2020, my bad. I went into 2020 with a toxic person. Don't be like that, y'all. Go, go into 2020 by yourself if you have to. Don't go into 2020 in a top, 2021. I'm sorry, y'all. It's just 2020. If I say 2020, y'all know I mean 2021. Because <laughs> I don't know how many times I say that. But go into the first half of 2021 to be dealing with this person. You don't. You just don't. 2021 with no distractions. None. We're not going into 2021 with all this drama and all this this. Cut out any distractions. If you feel like something is stopping you from your goals, cut it out. If you feel like something is blocking your mind and it's just bothering you, cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. We want to go into 2021 with no distractions, okay? We want to go into 2021 with a clear head, a clear mind, just everything just clear. Okay, I'm going into 2021 with no distractions. I am not in a relationship. I am not with any toxic friendships. I don't really, I cut everybody off early. You know how everybody be like, oh, I'm going to cut you off at the end of 2020. Oh, who, who want to get cut off at the end of 2020? You should have been cut them off months ago. Why you got to wait till the last day of the week to cut me off? You could have cut me off months ago, okay? You could have been cut me off months ago. Don't wait until the end of 2020 to cut some the end of 2020 to cut somebody off. Just don't. But if you wait until the end, then go ahead and cut them off if they not serving you no purpose. Sit down. Sit down and really think about your friends and the people in your life. Sit down and analyze the people in your life. Does this person serve me purpose? Does this person distract me? Is this person toxic? If they answer all three of them questions, y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. I don't even gotta tell you. Listen, I love y'all. And I really want y'all to go into 2021 successful. I want y'all to go into 2021 successful. I want y'all to go into 20, 20, 2021 with a clear head. Because listen, if you are watching this video, if you made it close to the end of this video and you are watching this video, I want you to know that 2021 is your year. Anything that you have asked God for, it is for you. 2021 is for you. If you're looking for a sign as to if 2021 is your year, I'm me, Candace, I'm here to tell you that 2021 is your year. You're going to go into 2021 with no distractions, a clear head, a clear vision, a clear mind. You're going to go into 2021 ready to conquer it the whole year you're going to be blessed you're going to be blessed you're going to be highly favored the people around you are going to be blessed you're going to be blessed financially emotionally you're going to be blessed just go into 2021 the right way do what you got to do cut off who you got to cut off change what you got to change but also don't wait until 2021 to start your goals baby start them right now start them now don't wait till New Year's to go to the gym. Don't wait till New Year's to start that business. Don't wait till New Year's to apply for that job or to enroll in school. Do that right now. Do it after you watch this video. <laughs> watch this video and do it <laughs> for real. For real, y'all. Don't wait. Bump a New Year's resolution. If you gonna do it and if you serious about doing it, start now. 
Start planning that business now. Enroll in that school now. Apply for that job now. Go to the gym now. I'm really talking to myself because I need to take myself to the gym while I'm sitting up here talking to y'all. But we gonna do it this year. We gonna do it 2021, okay? The end of this video, I hope that this helped y'all. I hope that y'all feel inspired. I hope that y'all feel blessed. I hope that y'all feel highly motivated to do what you gotta do in 20. 21 okay we are on the road to 1k make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel also make sure that you hit that like button give it a thumbs up so you two know we got lit around here today and make sure you follow me on all social so you guys will know about my 1k giveaway it might be cash it might be something else pretty sure it might be cash i don't know but make sure that y'all are following my 1k K, because once we hit 1k baby it's lit it's up from there okay so make sure that you guys are on the lookout for that and i will see you in my next video